So if you click on this video, you probably like me and have been thinking about getting into books and reading them. Maybe you've set some goals at the beginning of the year and never really stuck to them. Or you may have a Kindle in your car and you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to spend the money on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it consistently to justify the price. If that totally sounds like you, you are watching the correct view. As someone who would consider themselves a non-reader, I want to give you my honest opinion on the Kindle after having it for about three weeks. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure you click the like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. <music> I want to share with you some of my pros and cons and a little bit of tips and tricks that I've learned on the way of my deep diving of being a Kindle girly. Okay, as I've mentioned before, I've had my Kindle for about three weeks now and I am absolutely in love with it. I didn't think that I was going to like it as much as I did, but honestly if you lead with you can put stickers on something i'm probably going to check it out if you're new around these parks i have recently joined the harry potter fandom within the last year i have watched the movies for the very first time and really dove deep into absolutely enjoying that franchise and a lot of people have been telling me that i need to read the books read the books get the books listen to the books and recently I have been convinced to go ahead and try to read the books. I knew for a fact that I could not handle seeing a massive thick book and flipping through it. And not only just one, but about seven of those things. It, it just wasn't going to work for me. I was not going to read the books. But recently I've been hanging out with uh, the TikTok community with the Harry Potter fandom and I have been convinced to go ahead and read the books on the Kindle. I went ahead and picked this up directly from Amazon. This is a refurbished 2022 Kindle. This is pretty much basically their base model. I did think that I was getting the Kindle Paper White, which have been extremely recommended. It All my friends recommended it um, when I was doing my research. That's the one that was recommended. Majorly the difference in my opinion when I'm looking at the specs is the sides and I was not opposed to the sides once I did get this and I didn't really realize that it was not the paper white until I've like already set it up and everything so I was just like it's fine it's fine I'll roll with it and I am not mad at it I really love it and obsessed with the sides and with that one of my biggest pros with getting the Kindle uh being already a prime member already having an Amazon account the setup for this thing was so so easy immediately when I turned this thing on it already had me set up and it signed into my account I went from opening this out the package and starting to read one of the Harry Potter books within maybe five minutes of opening so i'm all for that i don't want have to go through so many hoops to get to the product and what i want to do with the product so that was a real winning thing for me and second post which i've already mentioned you have the ability to really decorate and customize the kindle to how you like it i love the idea of the pop socket i was reading it when i first got it without the pop socket because all i had was um the clear case actually i had to wait a little bit for the clear case because I bought the case for the paper white, which is a little bit larger, so I had to exchange that. It is very awkward to hold without the pop socket, but with the pop socket, this is a dream. I can minusly hold this and read the book without any problems, and I absolutely love. There's so many different options for pop sockets out there. I know they have like a little strap if you prefer to have like a strap to like put your hand in to kind of hold it that way. There's so many different options to customize it to your exact needs. And I'm a sticker girl. So I have all of these vinyl stickers and the beauty of having the clear case is that I don't have to have the commitment of putting the sticker down. If you like me, you love stationery, you know you do not want to make the commitment and stick something somewhere and not be able to use it again. So I absolutely love being able to just add them without the commitment of putting it on the Kindle. And it looks perfectly fine. They don't move around. I I just absolutely adore adding my level of personality to the Kindle. Another thing that I have discovered is the Kindle lock screen. So if you are interested in getting your own, this one here is actually on my Etsy shop. I have a whole like retro style bookish type of lock screens. It shows you how to get them on your Kindle. You do have to have an ad free Kindle, 
Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. The link will be down in the description. I did also do a short with a tutorial on how to create your own and upload your own. So if you're not interested or don't find the designs to suit your needs, I have a short for you to watch and create your own and you can go wild and tailor it to your personality. Another thing that I found very shocking, as you can see, I do wear glasses and I do need them quite often, more so to see far away than versus up front. Um, but with reading from a physical book in the past and also even reading like on my iPad or my iPhone, um, it will start to strain on my eyes. The Kindle does not do that for me. And I was very, very shocked and surprised. I actually didn't even realize I didn't have my glasses on while I was reading until my husband like stopped me and was like, where's your glasses? So it just didn't bring any strain or any um, tiredness to my eyes, which I have gotten from actual physical books and like reading on um, iPhones. I don't know if it's like the lighting, if it's the lack of color or what, I don't know. I don't know the scientific part of that, but I do appreciate not having that strain on my eyes and being able to seamlessly read. Another thing that has been absolutely amazing is the lack of distractions. Since only thing you can do is read on the Kindle and maybe an audiobook, there is no other distractions. Whereas if I read on my iPad or my iPhone, I could easily hop over to a social media app, start texting friends, do some online shopping, like anything that you could possibly do on that type of device can easily take me away from the book. And then when I look up, there's an hour or two gone and I have not read anything with the book. But with the Kindle, it not only keeps my attention, it helps to not distract me from anything else. I don't know if it's just like being a digital screen that helps me zone into the book and really dive into the book. It could be that the book is good, but I have read what I would consider good books like on um, an iPhone or an iPad, and it will take me drastically as much, much longer um, versus what it has been taking me with just reading something on this Kindle. So if you're easily distracted or you find yourself like flipping through and trying to count how many pages you have left on a physical book or easily scrolling over to your social media app, definitely uh, the Kindle is going to be for you because it's going to keep your attention, especially if the book is good. And I don't know if it's like the, the technology part of it and we're just so used to like being on our phones and this gives us that without having the other distractions. So if you're like that with your phones, this is it. There's only two cons that I can think of that I've discovered. Like I said, spoiler alert, I recommend it. I think it is so, so worth it. But I can see one of the cons being the price. It is, especially if you get it brand new, it can run you about $100 to $130 if you're getting like the Kindle or the Paperwhite. There is so many other options um, and we'll get into that in just a second. But I can see that being a con for some people, especially if you don't consider yourself like a book lover and know that you would constantly pick this up and read it. My advice to that is to look into the refurbished options. Like I said, I got mine refurbished with Amazon. I had no issues with it whatsoever. It works perfectly fine. Seamlessly log in, as I mentioned before, or also look on like Facebook Marketplace within your friends or, you know, online like Macari. Right now is a perfect time for that. A lot of people probably did pick up a Kindle for the holidays last year or even early on in the year for that being like a reading goal. I know reading X amount of books is a very popular like New Year's resolution for folks. And there may be a handful of people that did not stick with it and may want to get a Kindle off of their hands and you can get it for fairly cheap. The other kind that I could think of is tying it in with an actual Kindle Unlimited subscription. I think for the price, it's perfectly fine to get one book a month. Um, however, we have so many subscriptions already. I know a lot of people are trying to refrain from doing that. You can use the Kindle without the subscription. You can just buy whatever book that you want. You don't necessarily have to get it. They do provide you with three months free. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of those three months free and trying it. But the good thing is you don't necessarily have to do it. But I can see that being a little bit of a turnoff thinking that you have to get the subscription when you really don't. 
But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Will you be picking up one? What will be your first book? I am so excited for you all to embark on the journey with me. Let me know. I am, you guys know I'm currently reading Harry Potter. I have a list of things I want to add to my book list. And um, look, I, I'm full blown in the Kindle era. And I hope this video helps you to come along and be a part of the Kindle girlies <laughs> as well. Again, if you're interested, definitely check out my Etsy shop for a few custom covers and also my short if you want to design some for your own. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>